If you're taking intro real analysis, you absolutely have to know what it means for a sequence to converge. Here is the official definition of sequence convergence. A sequence a sub n, it converges, and we'll say it converges to a limit l, where l is a real number. If this happens, if for every epsilon greater than zero, so here, epsilon, think of a very small positive real number. Usually epsilon, we think of it as just a very small quantity. For all epsilon greater than zero, there exists some natural number, I'll call it capital N, you might call it something else, there exists an N in the natural numbers such that the absolute value of the difference of our sequence and its limits is less than epsilon for every little n greater than n. Or your class might use greater than or equal to. I'll just stick with strictly greater than. This is the definition of sequence convergence. You would absolutely have to know this by heart if you're taking a real analysis class. Let's just break this down a little bit, kind of what this means. Here, no matter how small epsilon is, the difference between the sequence and its limit is gonna be less than that, eventually. Sometimes you see this picture here. Draw a little picture, you'll see my brilliant art. If, if L is here, if L is the limit of the sequence, make the neighborhood of L as small as you like. Maybe L plus epsilon would be up here maybe L minus epsilon would be down here. You could kind of tighten this gap as much as you like. So here's the gap. And then on the bottom here, I'm just gonna write the natural numbers. So here's one. And so this graph here, this function I'm describing is our sequence. So maybe at one, our sequence is right here. Maybe at two, our sequence is up here. Maybe at three, our sequence is actually in this range, and maybe at four, it goes down. You know, who knows what's happening here? The idea is, regardless of how small you make this neighborhood, maybe I make this even smaller in here, eventually there exists some end down here, if I keep going, such that after this end, my sequence is always living inside this, this range. This is the definition of sequence convergence. Now, of course, if a sequence is not convergent, if this doesn't happen, the sequence doesn't converge, we'll say the sequence diverges. Now, in real analysis, you'll wanna get lots of practice with this idea, actually proving that limits exist and sequences converge using this definition. So click the video on the screen to watch the next video in the real analysis course. We'll take a look at an example.